Excitement in the kitchen. Say, let's see the excitement. All right. Just you come along with me and I'll show it to you. Greetings, I am Jonathan, otherwise known as Senor Smoke here at Curto's in Westchester County. I welcome you to the sanctuary, the home of informed appliance, outdoor kitchen, and grill knowledge. Wow. The grill, the Heston, 36 inch, yes, it's a beast. It is a beast with a significant price tag because of all the bells and whistles of features, so let's get into it. Um, this company brought this grill out about a year ago. Um, to basically disrupt the entire high-end uh, grill marketplace, turn it upside down on its head and slap it. And um, they have some very cool innovations in there to talk about. Um, I have sold one and went to the house and uh, used it uh, over in Hoboken, New Jersey. And uh, the grill brings the goods. There's no doubt about that. Um, uh, 25,000 BTU trellis burners, the 25,000 BTU output, less than an alfresco or fire magic, but the interesting thing here is the shape of the burners. They're not U-shaped. They're not the typical uh, the uh, H-shaped burners that DCS popularized back in the day. No, these are trellis burners with like a finger spokes that stick out from the main tube. Very interesting. They say it's more efficient. Um, and uh, we will see about that through testing. Uh, the other thing is their diamond cut grates, very thick, very reminiscent of an overpriced grill that comes out of Michigan. Um, what I like about these grates, aside from just the, just the integrity and the strength of them, um, uh, they're actually cut somewhat close together, so you're not going to have issues like your asparagus falling through. Um, uh, they did a very nice job on them. I mean, these are actually the best grates that I've seen in the business. Um, this is the other thing that people talk about. The hood. It maintains its position. Okay. Now, from a usability and a why would they do this standpoint, I don't really think it brings all that much to the table, aside from the fact that it allows you to peekaboo your feet without having to lift it. But what the way I present this is very simple. It's, it shows the design integrity of the product. The fact that a hood this big, and it's big, can, can basically freeze and hold its position speaks to the way that it's built. And it, it is built like a tank. I would say this is arguably the best built of the premium gas grills that I have touched. Um, and we'll get into another point about that in a minute. Um, I've covered the burners. You can get a sear burner inside if you want. Don't get it on a 36 like this is. It's just, it's too cramped. Um, the other really cool feature about this is the, uh, the rotisserie burner is actually more like a salamander or a broiler because it's up above as opposed to being behind the food. So don't think that it's just there to, you know, to, uh, you know, infrared cook your rotisserie chicken. No, you could actually use this thing to, uh, to broil. And uh, again, use a salamander. So very, very innovative use and placement of that. Um, you know, I don't want to say the much maligned burner, but people really don't pay much attention to the rotis burner. They did a kick-ass job on it as well. So uh, sizes: 30, 36, and 42. Um, again, available on a cart. Can you do an outdoor kitchen? Yes, you can, but they do not offer the full breadth of product that my friends over at Alfresco do, or Fire Magic does, or DCS. But they're working towards it. Um, I know Perlick is making their refrigeration, which is a great thing because Perlick kicks complete ass when it comes to outdoor refrigeration and ice makers, um, the best. And um, uh, what else can we talk about here? The company's headquartered in California. They have a great pedigree because the people that are involved in this company are uh, engineers, Stanford educated engineers, and more importantly, they sow the roads at companies like DCS and uh, Viking and Link, so they kind of know the premium gas grill market, and they took that old Microsoft uh, strategy of, you know, Microsoft never invented anything. They, what Bill Gates liked to do, he liked to embrace techn other technologies and extend it, see what it did to Netscape. Um, so what they've done is they've taken some of the best things they see out there, and then they've pushed the gamut and introduced some new kick-ass 
disrupting features as well. Let's see if anybody else comes out with their Rotis burner up north after these guys have done it. So, um, like I said, I have used one. Uh, had a great time. Um, it's, I mean, again, the design integrity of the grill, it's fantastic. It's built like a tank. And one thing I like to point out, which you're not going to see in any other videos out there, is I like the casters on this on this cart. The casters speak volumes to me, and, I, and, and really, um, it's something that I picked up by, by becoming a Memphis Grill fan. The casters are so strong and so well built, and it allows the cart with such heavy weight on top of it to roll so smoothly. That in itself, okay, is an example of the design integrity that they use with this product and they blessed it with it. I mean, it's it's literally built like uh, very few things in this showroom. I mean, they did an incredible job with it. About it, please, you can see it here at Curto's. We're close to you in Jersey, Connecticut, Manhattan. Come give us some love. This is the 36 inch on display and we'll be here for a bit. And um, if you have any questions about Heston, please call us up. We can ship it all around if need be as well for my friends out there on the internet. And that's about it. I went over the three minutes. I apologize, but I just started rolling because it's not scripted, people. Um, JonathanAcurtos.com for any of your Huston questions or anything else that comes up. Thank you.